Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. My name's Gabe Puccio, and uh, I play the drums with Mango Jam. I wasn't really playing much. I kind of like just started doing other things in life and didn't feel like I had time for music. And eventually I just got like that ache again to like play with people and just like, you know, start doing that again. It feels good, it like feeds my soul, you know? So that's what the ache is, is just um, the ache for some sort of creative expression that feeds your soul. And I think most people in life feel that for one thing or another. It feels like music um, is an expression of something deeper um, that kind of just feeds the human soul. And I personally believe that all people have rhythm like in them. Um, and I think it's a very um, ancestral sort of like piece of what being human is. And that's why I say I think it feeds the soul or feeds, how I know it feeds my soul is it just feels, you can kind of feel that it feels right. Like this means something to people. Like it just, you know, we've all tap our fingers or we all, even as simple as like we all walk in stride, which to me is, a, is like a, a type of rhythm that is happening in all people. So I think it's just something that is just uh, inextricable from like the human spirit is just rhythm, you know? And then from there, maybe like, you know, harmony and melody and all that, but rhythm is very close to all people. Because it's just, there's a love, you know, there's a love of music and like, you can't really stop it. Like, you gotta, you gotta uh, get out there and, and, and live and um, express yourself in whatever way makes sense for you. What I can understand of like the ancestral purpose of music um, would be to create shared experiences and like there's a lot of reasons, right? Like, you know, and through exploring that space, having fun together, like, you know, you bring a, a community together um, and it just sort of serves to strengthen um, human spirit. Who knows where it all really started, but the imagery that comes into my head when I think of like, you know, our ancestors doing music is like, you know, as a drummer I'm kind of biased, so I think of like drum circles and stuff like that. Drums could energize you into warfare, drums could, um, you know, be used to like contact like your ancestors, their spirits, or take on through dance as well and how that ties into like the music, like the motions of music, you know, sometimes some cultures would believe that they're um, being taken over by like a spirit in that action. Nowadays, really all in what the artist is seeking and what why they're coming to play their music that's where that's going to lead I think there is still music um, that brings people together and I feel that the mango jam is a group that is focused on just giving pure value to again like the human soul like just enjoy yourself have fun be free explore come together with people um, and I feel that's what our goal is and you know there are things that we do like you know like allow people to like many people to come in and jam with us and get everyone together and you know it's always just about playing that music getting together in the space and um, letting yourself be free.
music is powerful, right? And then sometimes that other more powerful side of music to like move you as a person or, you know, even even like power to like create revolutions and stuff like that. Like that is that type of music is more connected to our ancestors because it brings you together, it hypes you up, um, it, it, it just co creates like a sense of community and um, speaks to something that's really real inside of all of us, you know, as opposed to just, you know, being an ear candy thing when it's, it's saying it like it's my opinion, but it's really a matter of fact. I can only speak on all, I, all that I know, but music in the past was a shared experience, uh, a joyful experience um, that brought people together and um, created just value of like maybe making people feel better even like music even as like healing you know like it, so it just has a lot of power and it has been influential in human history. So the local scene, yes, does tap into this um, sense of like, hey, we're all getting together, we're just going to have fun, and we want people to experience uh, what it is to uh, enjoy live music. So if I'm connecting what live music means to um, like ancestors, if we said to them, right, if we could talk to them, our ancestors about music, and we said there was this thing called live music, they would say, of course, music is alive. That's what I think they would say, right? Music is most powerful when it's like being created in the moment, like with you, in front of you, or either also maybe involving you in that experience of creating that. So that's why I think I don't know, now I'm, I'm thinking that there's this concept of like live music versus dead music, you know what I mean? And like, but anyways, I think, um, I think music is very powerful and it's more powerful when it's happening in the room live. But with you either involved as a listener, um, maybe a dancer, if that's your thing, you know, or even possibly as a musician. Yeah, um, so I met Danilo um, over at um, Nick Redding's house. They got connected and then um, Nick Redding was, you know, someone, I, he's someone, he's a close friend and someone I've played music with for a long time. He was, you know, the other mem member in that, of uh, the Redwood Trio group that I mentioned earlier. Um, so, you know, he was like, come over and like meet meet this, you know, new friend, you know, possible someone that we could collaborate with, who knows, like, do music stuff with, so, um, I guess, you know, I met Danilo just through, like, that network of, of musicians that sort of exists, you know, but he was bothering me for a while to come play the drums, like, I think a lot of times we get excited, um, as musicians when there's that, hey, like, there's, there's this other dude who, like, does music, you know, like, let's, let's, like, explore this, and, so it's very organic, you know, like, woo, woo, like they may not have ever met, right? But it's written, they did meet, and so, you know, Danilo got connected to Nick, and then I got pulled into that whole um, little connection there, and so now here we are. So I would say it's a very organic process, how we just kind of meet one another, how we meet one another, so, yeah. The Mango Jam, why did it start? That's such a, I don't know, there are so many levels to why, but I think um, looking at it 
standing back at a reasonable distance that we can put a framework to why Mango Jam started is to me, it feels like um, Danilo was sort of the organizer of the, this group of musicians. He, he had a lot of um, drive to get people in a room together. And um, so I feel that um, the Mango Jam is very much so here um, because Danilo really loves seeing musicians do their thing. He wants to be in, like, he, I don't know, he had said to me at one point, like, if he could just like set it all up, sit back and just let everyone else play, like that was one of the most important things to him. So it's just the drive of, you know, this person uh, that wants to bring things together and like make, make music happen, I don't know, and, and, um, and all for, the, for a good reason, you know, like which is just we're gonna come, like, that, that's what was so exciting to me, getting involved with the Mango Jam, is the way Danilo described, like, why we're here. There was always this, there was, that's, that's also cool, is that there was a strong why. Like, why are we coming to play music? Like, because we love it, and like, we just wanna make sounds. Like, we just wanna make as many sounds as possible before we drop and just, like, have fun. And, and um, so I think why, there are many levels, but, um, wise to just spread spread a joy that we, we feel through music and let that like enlighten us and let that hopefully bring light to like other people as well. So I think that's a strong why for why Mango Jam. To me, I will always be, music will always be a part of me, you know, I, no matter what I do, you know, even if I haven't picked up my drumsticks in over a year, like, I can't help but hear rhythms, like, my mind is always, like, hooking onto rhythms and, like, you know, so as far as, like, that goes, I would never quit on music, like, for myself, you know, like, I know it's a piece of me, right, um, but, yeah, there were times where I did sort of quit look at it that way like where I just stopped any involvement really formally with any group you know um, of musicians um, and really didn't play the drums much at all um, but um, but no so I, I mean as far as like have I ever thought about like stopping my involvement with Mango Jam like absolutely not because it just, it just feels good to me like it's just like I don't know like it's just a a nice group of people who like I think sometimes the priorities in, in people's involvement in like a group or in music in general can become twisted you know but the priorities with the mango gen to me always feel in the right place it's like you know like we're friends first and that's what's most important is like let's relate in a positive way and then like we can bring that energy that positive energy into our involvement together creating music so to me there was never a reason to feel like I wanted to quit my involvement with Mango Jam. Honestly, from where I'm sitting, I'm just like lost in the jam, you know, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> you know, it's like you hit the like, you know, and <laughs> it's a music that belongs to everyone, the people. Our music as Mango Jam happens where the people are. The Mango Jam is a collective of people who love creating music, who would like to spread that joy into the lives of men. But one thing for sure is that the Mango Jam, I think, has a, a, like a life, like it has a longevity to it. But where it'll take us, no one knows. But I mean, like, I just hope that we create lots of memories and, and you know, serve many different people through our music and, and have many different experiences, diverse experiences. Just have fun with it, you know? <laughs> um, well, that's, it's really, it's really cool. I don't know, it's humbling. I mean, it's, to hear that um, people around the world, you know, are, are listening to um, the tracks that we've recorded, it's, it's very humbling and it's, it's exciting as well, but um, I don't know, it's, uh, that to me shows some measurable success in what our mission is as a group.
What keeps local music alive is the community and the desire to um, to call you know these musicians out to the stage and and to show them love and support them in what they're doing. I would really love, it would really make my day, you know, if I could go see like some people that I know are from my community and are out here creating music, um, you know, for us to all share and listen to.